Okay, so I'm out in the boot today. I'll, I'll put on some sunglasses and look cool because I don't want you to see my eyeballs because then they're like laser beams, right? They're 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 harassing and killing you. Okay, so um, uh, we're out in the boot, and I'm sure I've just left my house. I'm sure that Anna Fox's black hate groups. Her Black Panther groups are hunting and stalking me as I leave my house. I'm already sort of getting like usual videos of the two red cars together there, the, the groups of Mercedes all together, the groups of Civics all together, all those things they've been doing for 24 years at this location alone. And it's been everywhere, University of Colorado, uh, Southern Oregon State College, these, these, we're gonna use vehicles and verbal harassments, like mimic harassments or these coordinated strategic terror tactics, all all derived by the by uh, Adolf Hitler and the KKK, trickled down to the KKK, then sort of adopted by LAPD or police, our government, police and psychology community as an actual weapon up on NSA level. That's how I sort of fit in. But more important than that, when I say Black Panther groups, I'm not talking about the Marvel movie here. I'm talking about, you know, like the 60s uh, Black Power groups, okay? Um, and I have a feeling a lot of these people are sort of Black Lives Matter groups. Um, and I'm not, I'm not trying to generalize because black lives do matter, but all lives matter. Unless those black lives are power groups saying that us Jews need to be killed. Okay, so example, Adolf Hitler, I don't believe in the inferior race, we're the superior race. Well, what do you think Black Panther or Black Power is? That's the opposite spectrum of Adolf Hitler. So Jews... In these black power groups that Anna Fox is apparently part of, their Jews need to die. Okay, so because Jews are the inferior race and they're not as good as, good as us. Now, Kevin, how, how are you making that that bold statement, right? Where is that coming from? Okay, well, just, just to give you one of these hundreds of thousands of examples of most on video. Uh, this was maybe five years ago, down at a coffee bean in the middle of LA. Never been there. I don't remember what street is the middle, middle of fucking nowhere, middle of La La Land. Walk into a coffee bean, yes, coffee bean, contact and paid off to have me killed for 2001 going to Starbucks in Topanga and Ventura and buying a fucking coffee, right? Okay, now this black guy who is sort of, uh, had looked like he had a shitty life, whatever, you know, he didn't semi homeless, whatever, was sitting in the thing and he instantly recognized me and started going ballistic and I don't know how, now remember that I don't know these people. So when they're hunting me and going ballistic on me and trying to set me up and frame me and make me look crazy with these Adolf Hitler, black power groups that hate Jews or whatever, um, how do they know me, right? I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm fucking just random driving, stop off at a coffee bean in the middle of random LA. Everyone knows me. Everyone's trying to set me up. They're calling the cops. Kevin raped a woman. Kevin did this. Kevin did that. The same thing has been going on nonstop since five years old. And you're, you know, obviously at this point, maybe it was five years ago, you know what's going on and everything gets on video. And the guy isn't concerned. I, I don't know how we get to it, but I said, look, dude, I'm fucking Jewish, okay? Uh, Adolf Hitler committed mass genocide and went after our people and other races because they're the inferior race. Well, no, you know, slavery is better than the Holocaust. That was his, his entire argument, and this is important. His entire argument with these, like, Anna Fox people um, is that it's not, it's not, it doesn't matter if a tyrant or dictator commits, or the United States President of America with NSA, commits mass genocide or does horrible things to their people, oppresses them. That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that our black groups are better than your Jewish groups. And so we were wronged worse than your Jewish groups, so therefore we're better than you and we're going to hunt you and kill you because you're not as good as us. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so we're talking about Anna Fox saying that I'm a pathetic dog and I'm somehow following her around when she was seven years old, okay? Because remember, I walked into coffee. It's the first time I really started getting into, like, a, I'm going to chill out and get coffee, was going to the office, and it was Topanga Ventura, 
Starbucks and I'm gonna read a newspaper back then we newspapers were a lot bigger um, I'm gonna get a newspaper get a coffee read a newspaper chill out for 30 minutes sort of wake up go to the office okay boom here come all the groups and more importantly the black employees at coffee shops and oh Kevin won't leave me alone and who are you? I don't even know who you are. I don't even know your fucking name. I don't know who you are. I've probably seen you once. Okay, whatever. You know, just like Anna Fox, right? Okay. So, now I... I she, she puts her shit all over the fucking world. So, how do you not see it? Especially if you're someone like me. It was in the Building Adult websites and Building Huge uh, Adult Systems, a Studio Photography, and all from the very first second, just like... Walking into that Starbucks in 2001, there's Kevin Perlman. Uh, exterminate him with all costs and every person on the planet. Wait, how do you know me? Oh, that's not important. Okay, but you know what you did. Okay, what did I do? Oh, I don't have that argument. I don't know you. Okay, right? You can't, you can't have it both ways. You either accuse someone of something and you have an argument, or you don't. Okay? Now, but what you don't do is launch worldwide uh, campaigns to kill someone since five years old saying you know what you did and we're not going to tell you because that makes the entire statement accurate. It, it is about hate only. Okay. And that starts with my own father. Okay. So we're out and about. The black pair people are apparently better than us Jews. Now I don't even want to really go down this route because I'm not, I'm a very open-minded I get along with everyone, okay? I'm very open-minded. I get along with everyone. I'm as friendly as can be. I'm open-minded. But apparently in my life, every person I've ever met was told to exterminate me, right? And then they reverse it. Kevin's angry at the world, blah, blah, blah. Well, this has to be happening for some reason. I mean, if I have endless video of Starbucks Corporation and other coffee shops and, and businesses working on me with all the different tactics, like the man tactic, like, uh, this was actually done with Anna Fox's group last Friday at Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, and it's done over and over, at around past a certain time at Bob's Big Boy, and this also happens here if I go out and take walks and everywhere, but they're ramping it back up, and it's the man tactic, I call it, and what it is, is, um, every stranger that sees me will incorporate man, in, a, in the sentence, like, hey man, how you doing? What's going on, man? What's new, man? From stranger to stranger, right? In sequence. Sequentially. Repetitively. Not a single random event or once in a while or maybe twice in a week. Okay. one In one hour's time, I might have video of 100 people. Okay. So what what I did was I went to coffee shop to coffee shop being like as friendly as I can be like usual. And most of them were Starbucks. And I bought a coffee. And as I bought the coffee come 15 different mental rocks towards my head, right? Like, hey man, how are you? Hints that I hit someone with my car down in Hollywood by a Starbucks because they're watching everything I do and they're trying to collect any piece of dirt known to man to say, look what Kevin did now and give it out to the world on a propaganda channel, right? Okay, so the girl at Starbucks, the, the employee at Starbucks on Ventura Boulevard and Winnetka, sees me and she gets she realizes it's on video because I give him a peace sign and I hold the camera let them know that they're videoed with the rest of the locations and so she calls the cops didn't see of course didn't see their white supremacist um, thug so now you have to understand that if didn't see who's a white supremacist and uh, trying to force trying to force people into mental institutions that he doesn't like because he wants to clean up the streets and his definition of clean up the streets is we don't want Jews here, okay? That's his definition. Like, you're a dirty Jew. Okay. Um, and all these black people are helping Dinsey and all these other people are helping Dinsey. Okay. They have labeled and defined themselves by the choices they make in life. And if your choice is to hunt Kevin Perlman down to kill him for being oppressed and hunted and tortured and killed since five years old by the U.S. government and psychological warfare and these Nazi tactics. If that's your choice, then that's your choice. You've defined yourself, okay? You're not even sitting neutral. You're not even sitting idle and neutral saying, Kevin, this is unacceptable. You have made a choice. And by the way, by, by looking the other way, you're making a choice that you support the Nazis. Okay. People like Dinsey paid off. Now, so at this point, they know who to call, right? Their little white supremacist supporter, Dinsey. 
Okay, so Dency Fabricates Police Reports stating that Kevin supposedly threatened... I have this, this long letter from the Discovery of the actual letter that the employee wrote, how I jammed a camera in her face and I threatened to kill all Starbucks customers and this and that. All for, all for trying to buy a coffee. For trying to buy a coffee. I jammed the camera in her face. Um, uh, I threatened to kill all Starbucks customers trying to get aggravated um, trespass, which actually links to Eric Christensen in 1991. Well, that's crazy, right? Why some guy in college didn't like my t-shirt actively hunting me with every resource on the planet to kill me and billions and billions of government dollars because he didn't like a t-shirt. Now, what were the cops telling me back then? Well, if someone doesn't like your t-shirt, they're allowed to kill you and we're not going to help you. Well, wait, that's kind of strange. So people are allowed to, so, so what is the cops are telling me? That people are allowed to kill people if they don't like them, correct? I don't like your shoes. I don't like your hair. I don't like Jewish people. You offend me. Uh, you creep me out. Uh, I'm allowed to kill you with every resource on the planet, right? Correct? That's that's what the LAPD was trying to tell me. And I'm like, looking at these people like, why are you supporting this, right? What What is it that you're trying to cover up? Okay. So, anyway. So, obviously, Dency fabricates this report because he tries to get me to violate probation and try to put me in jail for seven years. Um, but why? Because I found out he's hunting me with mass groups to kill me? Okay. Because I'm a, I'm a, as Anna Fox would say, because I'm a pathetic puppy dog. Wait, she's following me. She's following me. She's following me. You better not blink wrong. You better not this. She's the puppy dog. Actually, she's a pit bull. Okay. Um, bitch. Bitch. Woof, woof. Okay. So, the point I'm making here, while she wants me to obsess on her, that's not going to happen, I'm going to talk about the entire fall of wax. Okay. So, but she is heavily involved and let's, let's talk about this. In 2001, this has been going on since I was five years old. And it really gets crazy at eight years old because it gives a black girl. So you have to put, put Kat Anna Fox in the category she's in by her life choices. Okay? And that applies to everyone here. Okay? Not just Anna Fox. That applies to Greg Gutfeld at Fox News hunting me to have me killed. Okay? Uh, and the Fox News money behind the agenda to have me killed. Some, some no-namer guy that's just sitting there wondering what's fucking going on. And boom, Fox News is trying to kill him with billions of dollars. Okay. What's going on, right? Why is, I'm a no-namer. I've accomplished close to nothing in life. I've accomplished close to nothing in life. I had, you know, I, I did I did a lot of shit, but none of it was successful. And most of the things were sabotaged from the very first second, just like walking into Starbucks in 2001. There's Kevin Perlman, kill me at all costs, okay? And that applies to my large-scale adult website systems. That, uh, applies to studio photography. That applies to everything, okay? Uh, even hobbies like playing pool. Okay. Um, kill Kevin at all costs. Even getting my degrees in college, okay? Um, okay, so... So, um... But let's stick more towards the last 20 years. Because remember, this has been going on for 45 years. Non-stop. Stranger after stranger. Okay, what does Anna Fox have to hide? Like everyone else, like Jada Fire. What is Jada Fire, who is following me from coffee to shop to coffee shop, trying to get reactions, have to hide? Okay, and I can list a hundred other porn stars doing the same things at coffee shops, Ralph's, um, airplanes, Chasey Lane put on an airplane in first class next to me, like across from me. Okay, what do these things all have to do with one another? Because it's not one random event. It's a, it's a planetary secret planetary extermination operation, okay? What, what do they all have to do? What is Anna Fox so angry about that she's completely obsessed with me since at least seven years old and hunting me with her mass hate groups? What is, what is she so angry about? And Jada Fire and the rest of the black community, and that goes out of the black community to the Asian community and 
Armenian community, and each sort of group has a cover-up argument, but they all sort of link back into the same spigot, almost. Does that make sense? Like, like everything's spraying out of a hose every direction, but there's a source, okay? There's a source. It's not, it's not chaos and destruction. It's, there's reasoning and logic and fact behind the entire agenda. Okay. With my own brother at seven, when he was seven, Kevin needs to die. And you say, hey, what a, why, why are you saying Anna Fox seven? Okay, well, I'll tell you. And I can't say for sure seven. 2001, around the time, Mike Huntley, you're a dead man. You don't have a right to live. You know, Finding out the, the, he was paid off to have me killed. Rody Morales was paid off to have me killed. Uh, Rody Morales working with LAPD and Aubrey Fisher. Paid off to have me killed. That's around 2007. I walk into the Starbucks to make a Ventura. There's Kevin. He needs to die. We're just going to create our fictional lies about him and blast it on the worldwide propaganda kill systems. Um, okay, so how old? In 2021, almost 2022, how old do you think that... Oh, Playboy, Anna Fox, she's so amazing and so special. Yeah, whatever. She sucks dicks and she has just shot on her face to make money. Now, Kevin, why do you sound so angry and bigoted? Well, I'm not. I'm an adult website designer. I was building adult website systems. I have no problem with strip clubs, even though four or five people were told to take me to strip clubs saying I'm a stalking strippers and things like this. I have no problem with it. But I am making a point here about these inflated egos. Oh, hey, I went from jizz on my face to some Playboy photo shoots. Okay, whoop the fucking do. Let me tell you this. If you were doing the same thing to me, if the President of the United States of America was doing, and has probably in 1977, if Anna Fox, if, if the President of the United States was doing the same thing that Anna Fox and her hate groups were doing, I'd fucking spit on his face too. You, you understand what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't fucking give a flying. I would. He would not get that respect. Okay, that's my point. I don't give a shit if some fucking cum draining fucking wannabe playboy, wannabe special thing thinks they're better than me, and they're welcome. They're welcome to think that. But fucking think it's yourself and don't follow me with your fucking hate groups trying to fucking kill me because I kissed a black girl at eight years old. Okay, now back to point. 2000, I'm, I'm 49 years old. I'll be 50 years old soon. And no, despite the fact that my father was running around putting shock collars on his dogs and abusing dogs and abusing me at the same time, um, trying to mentally shock me to death, there's no, I don't know, I, the relation's really about a behavioral re relation. Does that make sense? This is who my father is, and these people are mad that I know. Okay, it doesn't really make much sense. Okay. Um, okay. So 2001 is 20, almost 2022. Um... Okay, if I were to guess how old Anna Fox is right now, what, 28? Let's say 28. Might be a little older. Let's say 28. Okay, so... Wait, 28. 2000. Wait, my math... Shit. I'm just trying to think, and my math's all squirrely here. Uh, 20 years... That would make her 22 years old. Let me think. She's older than 22. Um, oh, wait. What am I thinking? Yeah, yeah. No, that's probably right. So that's, that's 22 years. And then from that time. Wait, 21 years? 21 years. Shit. 2001. I'm such a, I'm such a retard here. Um... 21, 11, 20, yeah, 21 years. 21 years. So see, 21 years ago, Anna Fox was in this, or getting information. Oh, Kevin Perlman went into Starbucks and he bought a coffee, so he's attacking black women or something like that, right? Okay. Well, all that happened 
there and everywhere else since five years old is I bought a coffee. Okay, I bought a fucking coffee. That's it. There is no, there is no if then but. I bought a coffee. They saw me. Kevin needs to die. We're gonna kill Kevin on a never-ending murder operation since five years old. But what is the propaganda Anna Fox and their hate groups are getting? And this is worldwide. It's not just Anna Fox. Okay, but what is the propaganda? Well, Kevin went in. He hates black people. He's buying coffee and he's attacking black. Who knows? I'm just making. I'm just sort of guesstimating because. They probably said I raped 500 women. I don't fucking know. Okay. Kevin goes in. He buys a coffee. Kevin's harassing everyone. Kevin won't leave him alone. Now, remember, I didn't have a camera on me at this point. Okay? I didn't have a camera or anything. I didn't even know, really understand what was going on. Okay? I did have a camera in 97 for my photography class. And I only took it out on studio photo or photography assignments. And technically, it wasn't even my camera. It was Chad Bauer's 81 Canon. Okay, so you got you got to keep things into in perspective, and you got to base your stories on facts and logic. Not oh, Kevin flew around with a jetpack, shooting people with laser beams. Okay, let's keep things in reality here. Kevin walks in. Kevin buys a coffee. I remember one employee named Garrett started yelling at me while attacking me with their tactics, saying it's your transgressions. Okay, well, there you go. There's a confession to a crime right there with a guy named Garrett in Topanga, Topanga Starbucks, Topanga Ventura in 2001, a guy named Garrett hunting me to exterminate me with worldwide groups babbling, it's your it's your transgressions. Now, the only, only thing in your mind, who the fuck is this guy? I have no fucking clue who this guy is. He's like 20 years old. I'm like 30. I've never seen him before. You're a criminal. We're going to hunt you with worldwide groups to kill you. Okay, so now it's the criminal label, right? But if I say, what crime did I commit? They can't answer it. They'll hint, they'll hint, and they'll hint, and they'll hint. They'll hint that I killed people. They'll hint that I raped women. They'll hint that I'm abusive. They'll say weird things like, I'm weird. Okay, so I'm weird. That was an Aubrey Fisher. I forgot. That was Aubrey Fisher. You're weird. I have the right to kill you. Okay, well, doesn't everyone kind of think everyone's weird? I mean, if a stripper is told to go to cotillion or something you think she's gonna be like laughing her ass off going this is kind of weird like when you sip tea okay you know what i'm saying okay it's weird but are the strippers normally hunting the people at cotillion with fucking uh shotguns and fucking uzis oh you committed the weird crime. okay so these vague iffy comments you're shady you're weird you're a criminal you suffer from mental illness well, sure, that's all great, but what does it mean based on a specific? Well, it means nothing, because you can't answer the fucking question, right? Okay, so you're a criminal. Why am I a criminal? I can't answer the question, but you're a criminal, and that's enough that I'm allowed to kill you, because you're the inferior race, and I'm better than you, and you're worse. But wait, there's no court of law here, or there's no trial, there's no convictions. Just, I'm a criminal, and you're going to kill me. Well, that would be Dr. Ronald Barry Perlman, okay? Um... Okay, so where are we? And let's just say 27, 28 years old. Anna Fox. No, wait. No, 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 sorry. 28 years old minus 22. Or 21. So what we're saying here is that Anna Fox was probably around 7, 8 years old. Oh, that Kevin Perlman needs to die. They're eating dinner with their mommy and daddy. That Kevin Perlman needs to fucking die for what he did. He hates people. He's a bigot. He's a racist. Well, why am I a bigot and a racist for kissing a black girl? Or, more importantly, let's get to the more important issues. They sent some gay guy in my house in the University of Colorado, which didn't bother me. But I didn't ask him out. I mean, it bothered me a little like, like I'm not gay and I don't feel like dating the gay guy. Okay, but not like like I hate the guy. Like, like I'd probably hang out with him and shit. Um, if I knew, listen. Okay, let me let me explain. Let me rephrase it. My roommates come home with a gay guy. They're all friends. I'm sort of in my own little world thingy. Does that make sense? Like like I'm friends with my roommates, but I'm not kind of going out to the same parties. Maybe a few. The gay guy. 
isn't really warming up to me, but he just, like, after I go to sleep, he walks in my room, and he starts getting really flirty, and I, I have no problem with it, I'm just not gay. So, you know, I was just like, oh, you know, I'm not interested, and I sort of, I couldn't sleep either, and I sort of walked out of the room because, you know, I'm kind of nocturnal or whatever, but, and, and really I should sort of step to the side here and say, why is this information being collected to use against me to an entire planet of people when it, it should stay, what happens in Kevin's Colorado apartment should stay in Colorado, Kevin's Colorado apartment, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if the sex wasn't satisfying, uh, Kevin would be hunted by, killed by a worldwide campaign. Okay, but anyways, so I'm just not in the gay guy. Now, it doesn't mean I wouldn't hang out with him at parties or places or this or that, but I really wasn't into him and I didn't know him, okay? So, so the context, and I don't even know why I'm going here because it's a waste of time. The, the context is... Some random stranger walks in your room, he starts getting all flirty, you're trying to sleep, he's gay, you're not gay, you're not in a flirty mood with a gay guy, and you're not gay anyways. So, the long story short, the gay guy didn't get his way like Skylar Stefania, okay? He didn't get his way. He didn't get his way like a porn star thinking she's going to size you up and get your fucking take all your money and get your house and your car because she has big old titties and she's beautiful or small titties and slimmed up and works out or whatever. Okay? The same spoiled brat. I'm going to take what I want. You're a chump. I'm going to take all your fucking money and then I'm going to hunt you and kill you if you say anything. Okay? The same mentality. Okay. But how does that go worldwide? entire planet, Kevin hates gay people and Kevin needs to die by the gay community and Kevin's a white supremacist. Now, Anna Fox is getting this information. She's seven or eight years old. Kevin Perlman needs to die. If I ever see Kevin Perlman, me and my black groups are going to hunt him and kill him. Okay, you do the math. And when I say you do the math, this isn't just Anna Fox. This isn't just Jada Fire. This isn't just, I'm sure, Emily Jewell after I build her doll website for her. This isn't Tracy Anna Koval after I build her doll website. She's trying to set me up on weird, freaky spy camera Gene Simmons things. This isn't just um, Brian Weaver smashing all my models at when I'm 12 years old, my my car Revel models and saying I'm full, filled with anger and rage and I flipped out on bipolar. Uh, this isn't Brian Weaver kind of sort of beating up a little teensy bit Michael Block and um, Ryan Hirsch and then saying it was Kevin and the world told it's Kevin. This isn't Jason Gordon punching me in the stomach. Yeah, I did kind of get riled up with Robbie Leff and I did a little teensy bit mouth off to Jason Gordon, but he didn't really have the right to fucking go ballistic snap and punch me in the stomach. Um... You know what? Jason Gordon is probably the only person I kind of was an asshole to for 10 seconds, period, ever. Jason Gordon, when I was, what, 14 years old. Out of all the things, out of all my friends bullying people and saying it was me and it going worldwide, Jason Gordon, I mouthed off to the guy and said something like, you're a, you're a this. That was it. There's no bo real bullying involved. Like, I'm not following the guy around. Actually, technically, Jason Gordon was in my brother's class two, two years ahead of me. And I now know that Jason Gordon was kind of sent after me to play victim, right? Okay. So the only person I've ever kind of been a, kind of sort of mean and said something a little like a little mouthy to was Jason Gordon. Now, did he have the right to punt, go ballistic and punch me in the stomach? No. Okay. But, why is there a worldwide campaign to kill me over these things that didn't really matter then, especially 40 years later, there's an entire planet Kevin needs to die? Because he farted wrong when he was five years old. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Okay. So, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I'm a perfect robot, but what I am going to say is that every person I've ever met is a billion times worse and nobody cares and they don't have worldwide murder operations to kill them for farting wrong. Did start at five years old. So now now when you go all the way down to five, you know, your 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 brain isn't really developed. You're not 
functioning on much of any level. And you got a father running around saying, like, you're Hannibal Lecter, and my, my five-year-old's Hannibal Lecter, uh, knows quantum physics, and it's like, what's that, that cartoon, the, the, the family guy, the little baby or whatever, the family guy, you're like, so my father thinks I was the baby and the family guy, and I have an alter ego, and I'm like Lex Luthor, and did I fucking miss something, like, did I wake up in a fucking Twilight Zone, okay, but let's, let's stick to, instead of these, uh, the circumstantial about my life, the real circumstantial about my life, not the the government uh, worldwide murder propaganda and defamation and slander and libel. But let's talk about the real circumstantial evidence here because I have not met one person actually judged me for me. Does that make sense? I have not met one person in 45 years that said, Kevin, you're Kevin Perlman? Kevin, who are you? Let's go out. Let's get a coffee. Let's get a beer. I'm going to find out. Let's go on some dates. I'm going to find out who Kevin Perlman is. No, instead, they're given a rap sheet of 100,000 lies across the entire planet Earth. Now, you don't think that's with ill intent? You don't think that's, that's malicious in nature? You don't think that... The person has invested billions of dollars to do this is doing it because they hate my fucking guts and want me dead starting at five years old. They do. And so when Anna Fox is sitting there slipping on her fucking little, um, um, sorry, I was, I was having, what were those things, those little circle noodles called SpaghettiOs? Probably don't even know what I'm fucking talking about. You're all so fucking young. When Anna Fox is sitting there sucking on her spaghetti, her SpaghettiOs at the fucking, dinner table at seven, eight years old or whatever, going, oh, Kevin's an evil monster and hates black people and I need to devote my life into getting him to like me so I can kill him uh, with my fellow black community worldwide in our Black Panther Party, uh, all black lives matter and Jews need to die groups, because after all, when I was eight, I kissed a black girl and now I'm a schizo who thinks he's black and like Mike Tyson, right? Well, wait, once again, how do we go from kissing a black girl to I think I'm Mike Tyson and I'm a danger to Asian groups and well I can explain all that but still it's going to be the same uh, cyclonic template right? The cyclonic repetitive template. Hey for every piece of artwork Kevin creates everyone get together, hunt him and kill him say it's his fault. Yet every other artist in the world is just creating art and everyone's opinion about the art is generally I like it, I don't like it, I can see this message or whatever, done deal. In Kevin Perlman's unheard of world oh well um when you were in University of Colorado in Jim Johnson's class Professor Jim Johnson who's setting you up with cryptic schizo messages called the Sleeping Dog Contest, hinting about our dog Rhoda. Kevin did this piece of art, this 30-minute high-speed composite with Mike Tyson and a game character Katana. So Kevin thinks he's Mike Tyson and Kevin Schizo, and we're all in danger of Kevin, and Asian people are in danger of Kevin, and blah, blah, blah. Time out. I'm sorry. I mean, I can understand if you don't like my artwork, but where does this intricate... Uh, Freudian detailed analysis that I'm going to kill people and I'm a schizo because you don't like some cheeseball high speed piece of art artwork in a class of 40 people that the world shouldn't have. Correct? Once again, the artwork the world shouldn't have but has they refuse to admit they've seen any of my artwork on any level Especially like things like studio photography, trying to say I'm stocking models or whatever. It's kind of interesting, right? Like every one, not, not like a couple, not like one. Every single person since five years old. So your doll websites don't exist. Your doll web systems don't exist. All your studio photography doesn't exist. All your other photography, your macro, your telephoto, your, uh, your uh, landscapes, <coughs> your HDRI shot. Well, it doesn't exist. You're just a evil drug dealer trying to kill black people, right? Wait, why, why, why are these people's mentalities this way or that way? There's no middle ground on any of these people since five years old. Not one. They're like Adolf Hitler, like a million times worse. Okay, why is that? 
Well, I can tell you why, because it's a government kill agenda. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. But yeah, let's stick back to, so Tracy, Anna, oh, and the big one, Anna Fox. She, um, well, you know, Ariana was sent after me with Aubrey Fisher to have me killed in the early around 2004, and I get back into photography, and I buy a Canon 10D, like the first digitals at like six megapixel or something like that, and boom, instantly from the very first second, Kevin, so Ariana off MySpace, Kevin, will you do a photo shoot with me, man? Sure, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm nervous, and I get in the camera, I'm, okay, and I'm doing it on this piece of shit half-assed green screen in my house, and okay, and done deal, and then instantly, instantly, what does this black girl Ariana do? Wait, we're coming back to the fucking Black Panther party here. Um, we need to go to, let's go to P.F. Chang's. And here comes the fucking Spanish Inquisition. How she needs to know if I think I'm Mike Tyson and I'm going to kill Asian people, right? Well, that's a lot of time and energy for some cheese dick art school project that wasn't even in an art gallery. I mean, I'm not even a famous artist making millions off my artwork. I'm just some student in college trying to get a degree. Taking art classes and... Uh, split degree between computer science and electronic media. Now, now to sort of step back here, those other 40 kids and the ones in my sculpting class and the ones in my... Those other 40 kids, they're not being hunted for all their artwork. I mean, I remember one kid did this really cool 16-millimeter uh, film uh, in an electric chair, and he's not being hunted and being killed. Okay, because, you know, I could come up with all sorts of insanity from that one, right? And his psychological profiling. Okay, right? Should you be like, huh? What are you fucking babbling, Kevin? Okay, but if I show you videos of me being stalked, you're like, what are you babbling, Kevin? Yeah, okay, so there's kind of a weird double standard going on here, right? Okay, so um, my sculpting class. Instantly, I, I do a sculpture head, a sculpture head, and I, from a negative mold, and I put in a salad mold, and I wired up blinking diodes, and the only thing Naughty Carey, my sculpting teacher, could think on critique was, well, that's a female head. That's a female head, so you're you're controlling towards women. So the artistic critique in my sculpture class wasn't about my art. It was about psychology and that I'm a bad person. From Naughty Carey. The professor that liked our ditch we dug or something in the forest with Chad Bowers. Probably some schizo matches directed at me that I dug a hole for myself or something weird like that. Okay, because there's your idea of reference tactics or what this entire thing is based on. Okay. To make someone look like schizo and lock them away. Okay. A violent paranoid schizo. Okay, but why... So that Ariana photo is a black girl on a chessboard. So. Do you see me going through Anna Fox's photos and saying you ruined my life um you're kissing a white guy in your in your porno so you hate jews and i gotta kill you no you don't see that do you the only thing you see from kevin perlman is stop provoking me with your fucking little schizo tactics right uh and my self-defense response is letting everyone know this is a lie that's a lie this is a lie that's a lie you've been lied to about this you lied to you about that well you know kevin be a man start going out and killing people uh, why? What's that going to do for me? Well, that's going to land me in a fucking cell, right? Okay. So what is this whole thing about goading me into trying to get me to commit crimes to lock me away? Well, I just said it, didn't I? Now, nah, this starts at five years old. Okay, when my brother's punching me in the back of the head, when he's flicking me in the ear and showing movies, trying to uh, send me schizo messages, uh, which he calls flicks. Um... All those things they're doing when I'm a very young child, trying to get me to go off on him. And I was a young child. I was like 5 to 12 or something. Okay, my brother trying to make me look like a violent paranoid schizo. My brother told to take me on a Caribbean cruise and him and Dare Moselle at 14, feeding me like like 15 B-52s and kamikazes while buying me a Kershaw knife hinting about World War II and my last name being Pearlman and Pearl Harbor. And I, I wasn't picking up on the schizophrenia tactics back then. But don't you think that's pretty fucking insane? That a brother, my father would tell my brother to give me a Kershaw knife and try to get me to go after him with a knife. 
and say Kevin's a violent paranoid schizo and who's with the B-52 and kamikaze shot drink shot who would who would strategically think this type of thing to do this to someone well someone with psychology degrees correct well that would be Jason Perlman with a secondary psychology degree degree Ron Perlman with his secondary psychology degree and need Anita Perlman with her art therapy degree okay so what's the point I'm making here that these things aren't normal these things are insane okay and who would do such a thing now it's fully supported by the government police and NSA level people uh, Jennifer Pilchick Perlman my sister-in-law trying to cover this all up who just lost a, a year ago against Debbie Wasserman Schultz in Florida for for Congress way now we have people in the US government trying to cover this up well we've always had that but if you want to understand how high it goes and if you want to talk about Jay Pilchick Jennifer Pilchick's father who's a court reporter in Florida and the adjoining wall property by Debbie Woolman who is a court reporter in Van Nuys Courthouse with probably audio surveillance and all sorts of shit and computer hacking shit and Wi-Fi hacking nobody's ever lived in that place for 24 years it's owned by Debbie Woolman think about it think about who is networking with who okay so but I don't I, I can trust me I could talk to you for a hundred thousand years non-stop about these government killed events and not and not from theories but I can prove every one okay I can show you the paperwork on the ownership of my adjoining apartment 17 with Debbie Woolman's name on it and I can show you the court transcripts and the things Terrence Scroggins was saying and um, everything is linked and connected and from a conspiracy, from a circumstantial level and really more than that, it's all beyond any level of proof and not just circumstantially, okay? Um, look, if Debbie Woolman's name is on the paperwork, well, but how do you prove that Debbie Woolman's actually doing anything? Well, I got video of her telling me I'm not allowed to go to the courthouse when... Um, Video of Debbie Woolman telling me not to go down to the courthouse at the courthouse when I have to go down for my my case. Well, why some random sicko <coughs> telling me not to go to my my case? Like deal with my case. Okay, right. Okay, these are on video. Okay, uh, with all the other death threats and everything. Else. Okay, so um, and the attacks. And, okay, now, so what is Anna Jew hater Anna Fox doing? She's trying to set me up. And framing, just like my brother was doing at a very at seven years old when he was seven, and I was five, and nonstop, and still to this day, when my brother was sending his friends after me at University of Colorado, like Mike Wexler and Jason Baum, to try to set me up and frame me, they're all doing the same thing, and they're all in a mass kill Kevin conspiracy since five years old. So what's the once again? We're coming back to the original, the original paradoxical question which is going to make you crazy make you look crazy if you're if you're not told what's going on by an entire planet trying to kill you non-stop it never ends well what's this about well why are you asking why this worldwide campaign hunting you to kill you non-stop minute by minute 100,000 to a million attacks per day who would ask that uh someone being hunted by a planet of people right okay if someone's following you from place to place since five years old in anger and rage or a planet you're going to want to know why they won't fucking stop right that's not weird. That's human behavior. Okay, that's normal human behavior. Weird is to not ask. Weird is to accept it. Now, how many people like Brian Longbotham telling me to accept being hunted and killed and all these weird things I was finding out? What the fuck? Or some of those death threats on video. You better accept what's going on or it's going to get a lot worse for you. Uh, from the dog attacker guy and all that shit, right? Um, who's on video working with a police trained canine. Okay, so... Um, so you got to ask some serious questions. What, are they, what, what does Anna Fox and this worldwide hate group, and I think predominantly black, um, as I was saying on my last video, which ironically came out upside down. I don't know why it did that, but it was kind of funny, you know, but whatever. Not, not intentional, by, but ironic. Um, what does, I mean, what is Anna Fox trying to... What does she have to hide? What does Anna Fox have to hide with the rest, Jada Fire, with the rest of their Kill Kevin cult since I kissed a black girl at eight years old? Okay, now remember, it keeps spidering out, right? It keeps spidering 
you kiss the black girl, you're a white supremacist, you need to be hunted and killed by the black community. Um, and we're seeing everything linked to that. I mean, the pre predominantly, the if you were to measure, like, with the Armenian groups hunting me, compared to the, and the Persian groups, compared to the black groups, compared to the Asian groups, we're always seeing the higher rate of obsession, hate, rage, and anger from the black people, and then it sort of spiders out, right? Okay, so because I kissed a black girl eight years old and showed warmth, then Kevin needs to die, and he's a white supremacist, and he's anti-Semitic, and blah, 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 blah. Well, once again, all that's happened is I kissed a black girl. But I suffer hate, rage, and obsession because I simply kissed a black girl. I simply, in 2001, bought a coffee. Well, but you came back to the coffee shop more than once, so therefore you're crazy. I came, I came back to the coffee shop more than once. You know, I, I, I'm going to confess. I also suffer from severe mental illness because I eat three meals a day. Okay, yesterday I ate three meals a day, and I think today I might eat three meals a day. But if you are going to tell me that I suffer from obsession and I better not, because I ate three meals or even one meal yesterday, I better not ever eat food again, then what are you trying to do to me? And if you're going to have people punch me in the back of the head every day or throw rocks in my head every day because I keep eating food every day, what, what is your motive and agenda? To get me to starve to death, right? And die. Kill me. Now, you might be a little stealthier than that, like my father, and say, Kevin's crazy and he's agoraphobic and he won't eat food and we gotta put him in a mental institution. Interesting. Okay, so, so this, this manipulation thing to go out and kill people, don't eat food. If you eat food, we're gonna follow you from place to place trying to kill you, whatever, things like this applies to going to a coffee shop. Everyone goes to a coffee shop. And most people every day on the way to work, like I started to, go to a fucking coffee shop, buy a coffee and go to the fucking office and that made Golden State Sports Medical and my daddy really fucking mad. And their 14 year mob and kill operations, minute by minute, non-fucking stop. Okay, so what does Anna Fox have to hide that she is completely obsessed with me to the point that you're a bad guy and we're gonna teach you lessons until you're dead and gone with an entire planet of people. It starts at five years old or more so, gets really aggressive with black people after I kiss a black girl at eight years old. You're weird? No, I don't fucking think so. Now, if you wanna talk about weird, fucking doing your little movies, trying to pick shit out of my life, and doing your little movies to try to show me schizophrenia messages, or, more importantly, if I want to leave it in the mainstream, having guys fucking jizz, having a fucking row of guys jizz on your fucking face and show it to the world, now really I couldn't care less. That shit doesn't bother me, it doesn't, I'm not scared of a fucking porno or Right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge you for making a porno, and I'm not gonna judge you for getting a hundred guys fucking jizzing on your face. I might sort of say like, maybe I don't understand it or something like that, but, or I might watch it. And I might go, that's a turn on. Okay, but either fucking way, I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not gonna label you in a category of you need to be hunted and killed. Okay, you see what I'm saying? And even worst case scenario, even if I go, I don't fucking understand you, and that's weird and whatever. I couldn't give a fuck. You can have as many motherfuckers jizz on your face per fucking hour for the rest of your life. I couldn't fucking care. Okay, so the point I'm making here is why is Anna Fox running around with like Sia Ninja Tang in University of Colorado? Once again, the next stranger, you need to die. Hey, I'm just trying to fucking date you and see if I like you. Why do you have all this information? Why are you hunting me to kill me? Okay, um... Anna Fox, you can't see who you are and we're going to kill you and you don't have a right to live and exist and you're not allowed to ask questions what's going on because you know what you did. What did I do? I'm not going to answer the question. I don't know you. Now it gets worse because here's Kevin. Hey, look world, you've been lied to. Look world, you've been lied to. Look world, here you've been li lied to. Stop fucking throwing 100,000 to a million rocks at my head minute by minute. 
since five years old, you don't talk or we fucking kill you, okay? So when Anna Fox's friends are following me to Bob's Big Boy last Friday and um, American, American Heritage, I believe two black people kind of working with her uh, around the food place right around the corner of American Heritage yesterday and these events keep occurring with black groups and black groups and once again, like I said, it starts with black groups and it ramps up to everyone. It starts with black groups and it ramps up to everyone. So is her argument that she's a superhero and I committed a crime at five years old and I need to pay? Or let's be realistic here because this has been every person I've ever met since five years old with changing stories. Or is that a cover-up excuse? Do you see what I'm saying? What's, let's use Occam's razor. We'll use Occam's razor. What's more realistic? That I'm a crazy man who thinks I'm a superhero uh, going after black people by kissing a black girl at eight years old. Or she doesn't like Jews. That kisses a black girl. And has her Jew-hating group hunting me to kill me. Oh, and we can also throw in, let's just, out of these thousands of women, let's just throw in the Jen Hess one. Um, oh, wait, wasn't it Jesse? Wasn't Jen Hess posing as Jesse Jane? Just like Skylar was posing as Julia Hayes. So Stephanie was posing as Julia Hayes, and Jennifer Hess was posing as Jesse Jane, who was following me to Jamba Juices, harassing me with her friends and things like that. Okay, so I forgot all about those ones. Um, but Jesse Jane's not black. <laughs> or, or what, both of them, Jen Hess. They were both blondes. Okay. And why is Jen Hess working with Jennifer Yang and Jason Perlman and Greg Waugh? Okay, so it gets really fucking freaky, right? Okay, so, um, and then, of course, it's the, the victim speech. Oh, you know, Kevin, Kevin didn't treat me perfectly. Kevin didn't. Oh, I love the Julia Sophia one. Hey, Julia, uh, can I talk to you on the phone? No. Can I see your picture? No. Um... Can I have any personal information? No. Come meet me at the rainbow. Kevin didn't come meet me at the rainbow. He ruined my life. He's a stalker. We need to kill him. Okay, right? Right? Same thing like Anna Fox. Well, if that's what's going on, then what were you trying to steal from me? Or were you trying to kill me or steal money from me? Reel me down to the rainbow on sunset and club me to fucking death because us Jews need to die? I don't fucking know, right? But the point I'm making is my decision of walking away or not taking the bait, just like the black people last Friday at, and some of the Armenians at Bob's Big Boy last Friday made them even angrier, okay? Because they couldn't set me up and manipulate me, they start blasting out to the world with Anna Fox that I'm a puppy dog following them around when they tried to get me to follow them and it failed, okay? So if you can't set me up but you still have the same lie to cover it up, then what are you, you're operating based on hate and rage. And last, the other thing, I don't know people that try to set people up to test them in the first place because those are pretty sick people to begin with. But if you do pass the the minute by minute, 45 year tests, you think you've proven that you passed, right? Okay, so, and if they're still angry that you didn't pass, I want you to get all A's in college and you get all A's in college, so the teachers put D's. It's like that, right? Well, why are you mad at me for getting A's? Okay, whatever. So you get the idea, right? Okay, so because you hate me, because it's based on hate and rage, and then you need a cover-up argument, right? Okay, so this is all linking back to you kissed a black girl at eight years old, I don't want you kissing black girls. Okay, now I can understand that my daddy, who put shock collars on dogs and shit, and tries to mentally shock his kid to death. Uh, that was Road of the Rose of Dijon, and that actually links to Kelly Hatch wanting me to see the movie, the 1956 The Bad Seed and shit like that, with the murdering child, Rhoda. Okay, but uh, I'm not going to go into that. Um, why would you be mad at me? Why would, why would Anna Fox be mad at me? Because, let's say last Friday night... Five people tried to get me to follow them, which failed. And about 20 walked by with the man tactic. So she's mad at me. 
Now, if she's an honest, non-Jew-killing criminal piece of trash, then she's going to say, Kevin's not who they said he was. These people are fucking lying. And honestly, Anna Fox, I don't give a flying fuck what you think. Okay? I could not fucking care if you loved me, you fucking hated me, you have a fucking secret shrine of me, if I was your inspiration. I could not fucking care. But I do care what's going on and mass people fucking following me from place to place, hunting me and trying to kill me for fucking kissing a black girl and her behaviors. You don't talk. And I'm going to take part in what they're doing states what she really thinks. Okay? Her behaviors state that she wants me dead and gone and there's no room for discussion. Now, we're not friends. Okay? I'm not saying we're friends. But what I'm saying is her actions. If I'm walking down the street right here in the middle of fucking Chatsworth, that's where I am right now, and that guy walks by and whistles at me trying to set me up and say, you're a violent paranoid schizo, since five years old, these these worldwide groups since five years old are exponentially growing. He has spoken. He has spoken. His message is, you don't talk or we're going we're gonna to kill you and you don't talk or we kill you or eradicate you. He has spoken. And Anna Fox has spoken and Jada Fire has spoken and even you, Alexis Amore, working with Tim Thompson 25 years ago, has spoken. But you know what? Why don't you try being fucking men or women? Have not being fucking cowards and pathetic and fucking speak out for what's right, okay? It's easy to fucking go around and try to cover up lies and, oh, hey, I'm Mr. Tough Guy and I'm Mr. Tough Guy. And you know what? You're pathetic fucking cowards, period. Like Julia Sophia Reynoso was, okay? Plain and fucking simple. You're criminals, you're pathetic cowards, and I know you don't care about a word I'm saying, but I'm still gonna fucking say it. For the other people out there, for the good people out there, you want to be a non-fucking coward, stand-up fucking person. You put yourself in my shoes for a fucking hour. One fucking hour of my 45 shit year life. You put your fucking self in my shoes. You want to fucking be a real person? You think you think that trying to lure guys by their nose and make them kiss your ass, you think you're special? You think that makes you a fucking good stand-up person? You you stand for fucking nothing. And you know, I have no fucking... I could not give a fuck if someone wants to fuck for a living on camera. That's their own prerogative. I'm not going to judge them. But when you're fucking... When you're, you're fucking sniffing my shit all fucking day and night for 45 years and you think your shit doesn't stink, it fucking does. And let me tell you... You're going to put me against you with your fucking lame-ass fucking opinions? It's a fucking joke. It's a fucking joke. Like I said, I want you to take one hour of my life and stand up against it. My 45-year fucking shit life, I want you to stand up a fucking against it for one fucking hour. I, I, I throw a week on you, you fucking kill yourself. But I give you one hour to fucking stand up to something, a planetary gang stalking operation starting in a five years old by the United States government of fucking America with unlimited NSA level psychological warfare murder tactics derived from Adolf fucking Hitler himself. Then you fucking come and talk to me. Then you fucking come and talk to me. And you can look up to me with your little fucking pathetic little I don't know what to fucking say eyes speechless, then you fucking come to me and then you fucking talk to me with your fucking opinions, okay? Period. And that's not just for Anna Fox, that's for fucking all of you. All of you little spoiled brat pieces of shit out there have no concept. My life was a battle before even knowing, okay? Every aspect of my life was a battle before 29, before ever fucking knowing, and I put on a fucking happy face. Well, let me rephrase that because I don't want them to twist and contort it. I put on a, a good face, and I accepted that life was shit, and I'm going to overcome it. Okay? Like someone born without a fucking arm or something, okay? And I have fucking sat here now for 45 years, after 29, not only born with the shitty end of the stick, to find out there's a worldwide government kill operation on fucking top of that, with an entire fucking planet. Okay. 
Now, I've spent the last 20 years, minute by minute, fighting off a planetary fucking murder operation. And really not just for me, but obviously the primary reason is for me, because my breathing comes first, in hopes that maybe it could put a stop to this and help other people. But if nobody's going to come forward and admit that this is wrong and give me their little bullying speeches about the tough guy speech and, oh, hey, I'm a porn star and I'm a tough girl and I'm, oh, hey, look at me. I got some photo shoots for Playboy. I couldn't give a flying fuck. I couldn't give a, That does not impress me. Not just for Anna Fox. That does not impress me for anyone. And let me fucking put it to you this way. I've been in front of the United... The White House of the United States of America with PoliceAbuse.com exposing white, the White House security stalking and hunting me with coordinated groups. Fucking national fucking security breaches because a guy being hunted by the United States government of America since five years old put on a mental illness watch list to be killed for no reason at all. And you fucking think, the, oh, I got a Playboy, I'm, I'm special. Now, I don't want to fucking sit here and try to compete like these other fucking morons that have been going ballistic on me since I was five years old to make it to 29 to go, what the fuck's going on? Why is, why is this Damon Riggins guy following me? Uh, didn't I graduate high school at 18? Why is Damon Riggins coming in my office with Mike Huntley at 26 years old? in a fucking anger and rage at me. And you know, you know what's funny? Okay, you're gonna find this funny. I was never friends with Damon Reagans. Just like, just like Kelly Hatch, just like Kelly Hatch, I was never friends with Damon Reagans in high school. Okay? I wasn't even friends of friends with his friends in high school. Okay? Isn't that a little ironic? So when Damon Reagans is paid off to hunt me with, with Mike Huntley at 26, I wasn't... Kevin, you're competing with Damon Reagans. Okay? Kevin, you're competing with Damon Reagans. Well, how do I compete with... Am I competing with Anna Fox? I've never even fucking met Anna Fox. How am I competing with her? You see what I'm saying? Okay. So Damon Reagans' cover-up claim for his Jew killing is that I'm competing with him. Now, even if I was competing with Damon Reagans, but we all know I wasn't, is it like the movie Bride Wars? I mean, let's be realistic here, right? What's your definition of competing? Because there is competition in life, okay? Um, not generally from person to person, but example, capitalism is all based on competition. Uh, it's not a monopoly. It's it's this guy builds a better mousetrap and then prices go down. That guy builds the better mousetrap. Prices go down and newer and newer technology come out. And I can remember a conversation about 25 years ago or something that Alexis Moore even got mad over that. Okay, think about that. Why would you get mad that I'm having a conversation about healthy capitalism? And then why would the government be running around saying I don't believe in capitalism with all these people for having conversations about healthy capitalism? Okay, so capitalism isn't like the movie Rising Sun. But capitalism is competitive and it's not mean. But it's about progression. Okay, but that has nothing to do with Damon Reagan's coming with Mike Huntley coming in my office going... I'm going to rid Kevin of the world because he started an internet host provider and Kevin needs to die and he ruined my life and I was never friends with Damon Reagans. We have never had any personal conversations. Just like Kelly Hatch until after... Okay, I'm saying in Calabasas. I was never friends with Damon Reagans or his friends. I was never friends with Kelly Hatch or her friends. Although I do recall Kristen Sanger being in my sociology class. Okay, that's it. But I never did anything to Kristen Sanger. So Kristen Sanger is trying to say I did something to her. Okay, that's it. So Kelly has just told her to follow me up to Southern Oregon State College and fucking hunt me and kill me. Then I'm stalking her and it's obsession. Then I transfer out to the University of Colorado. Not because of Kelly Hatch, but because a more respectable degree. But I'm not allowed to tell you these things because... 
people don't want to know about my life. They just want to know that I'm a horrible murderer and I need to die. I'm not allowed to defend myself. Okay. So don't you find it strange that these people I was never friends with in Calabasas are paid off to hunt me and kill me? And then I leave, and then they're still following me to the next place? Just like these black groups with Anna Fox in the last week, and it's probably been going on for 25 years with her, right? Okay? So, what's Anna Fox really so mad about? Well, you gotta take these types of behaviors down to the root emotion. Because what they say... Or pathological lies, like my father. Nothing nothing they're saying, it's all pathological lying. Lie after lie after lie, and cover up, and set up a tab, and frame job. Lie, it's like I said, you, you just watch. You watch what their opinions are based on my behaviors, and you will really see who they are. Without reading between the lines, okay? Like a lie detector, okay? Um, well, Kevin Perlin passed all those tests last Friday night, so clearly what you're saying isn't true. Or, you see what I'm saying? Or, or more importantly, her reactions, Kevin Perlin passed all the tests, he's a pathetic dog that won't stop following me. Well, her behavior, even though I passed the test, which shouldn't be happening, because that's fucking fucked up in the head to begin with, but even though I passed the tests, her opinion is still the same. Okay? If I get all A's and you say I got an F, you're doing because you hate me, not because you're a liar. You're not just a liar, but you're an obsessed, pathological, psychotic, sociopath, murdering liar. Okay? And you're dangerous. Okay? Now, Anna Fox, you have something to say about that? Because I know you're not willing to have a decent, honest, on-the-table conversation because I'm crazy and I think you're my friend and blah, blah, blah because I'm not allowed to talk to strangers about my life or I'm a crazy man, right? Are you willing to have a real conversation about things with substance that matter and truth and honesty? Or are you going to sit there and throw fucking rocks at my head trying to cover up what you and your people are involved in? Okay? You know, Kevin, so-and-so said you were crazy and we believed it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, you want to be a real fucking man or woman, then you fess up to your fucking wrongdoings. Bottom line. Okay? And don't try to turn that around on me and make up shit about me. Fess up to your fucking wrongdoings and fess up to this worldwide fucking conspiracy to have me killed since five years old. Who approached you? Who told you to do what? How you're getting the information? You want to be a fucking man. You want to be a woman. You want to be someone with uh, who isn't a fucking coward. Someone with fucking substance. Instead of just getting jizz shot on your face and going, give me your fucking money. Give me your fucking money, you fucking piece of shit, man. Okay, whatever. You want to be fucking someone with some fucking morals and integrity and ethics, and I'm sure you don't. But I'm saying right now, don't fucking try to judge me after fucking choosing your choices in life, okay? Because I'll come right back at you with fucking who you really are, and apparently you're, uh, sadly enough, sadly enough, you and your little fucking sicko group are proud of it. Okay, well, good for you, but wait till you have fucking kids. All right, so, um... Yeah. Okay. So, here we are. I've been ranting for a while, but they're very important rants. And they're rants that honestly affect all of us, even though the worldwide cover-up is, Kevin, you're crazy and imagining it, nobody knows you. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. And I'll remember that when watching White House security go ballistic and follow me from place to place because I simply stood in front of the White House with the other tourists, with a camera with the other tourists for 15 minutes, watching them, their entire security go crazy and mass groups show up and security follow me from shop to shop and scared off their ass that Kevin Perlman's down in Washington, D.C. at the White House of the United States of America, obviously not knowing that they were being counter surveillance with policeabuse.com and ex-LAPD police sergeant Camo Diop who unfortunately is black and had a lot to hide as well. And that's upsetting to me because when your life is at stake and the entire planet's hunting you to kill me for crimes of kissing a black girl at eight years old and people who are black could help you but they're more interested in trying to cover it up 
why is it so important to cover up? Well, I can't directly answer that because I'm out of the loop and in the dark, but we all obviously know by now that the level of racial bigotry directed at me since five years old and the government resources used with billions of government dollars and more importantly the psychology community's involvement in hunting and killing people and trying to make them look crazy is fucking through the roof and it is something that will change everything protect everyone constitutionally make people aware of these illegal NSA level government extermination activities these are in essence flag and kill operations okay to five-year-olds and who knows all it could be to someone of, of all ages you could be a flag burner making a statement about our constitutional freedoms and all of a sudden you went crazy and died okay and I know that it's a hard pill to swallow but ask yourself one question when you see Kevin Perlman and you're throwing rocks at his head, why are you doing it? Okay? When you see Kevin Perlman and you're throwing rocks at his head, you're not doing it for no reason and you're not doing it because I have a website that says Kevin Perlman Target and I'm being stalked. You're doing it for other reasons. And those other reasons lead you down the path if you use your stupid noodle, if you question the reasons what your behaviors are, and what you've been told, and use your stupid fucking noodle, it's going to lead you down to the path of government propaganda, disinformation, on global scales, on global scales, being done to a nobody. And if you can't question the legitimacy of it, the validity, if you can't question that, there's something really wrong with you. Okay? There's something really wrong with you if you can't question the validity of this entire situation and not follow Kevin around going, well, I think you're this, I think you're that. Uh, the government told me this, the government told me that. Yeah, but why did the government tell you that? Why? Or is the government following you around? Is this, this an everyday thing? Is the government following you? Hey, uh, you did too many... Hey, Anna, Anna Fox, Jada Fire, you did too many porno movies. You have OCD. Is the government psychology community following you around saying, we need to lock you in a mental institution because you did too many fucking pornos? Okay, so you're not questioning the fucking validity. When, I, when I'm listening to that conversation from a Starbucks employee last month saying that people who come into Starbucks buying coffee at Starbucks more than once are crazy and obsessed, I'm thinking you shouldn't be in business. It's not safe for you to be in fucking business. We're not safe from you. Okay? That's what I'm thinking. And they're not really saying it because they believe it. They're saying it because Kevin Perlman is in the room and they're trying to goad him. Okay. And then they get on video because they've been stalking me on a planetary scale and invested lots of money to have me killed. And they want to try to bury that. They want to cover that up. Okay? Especially the black employees. Okay. So, um, so think about that. You're not, you're not even asking why the government would be telling you the shit that they're telling you that doesn't even make any fucking sense. Hey, Anna Fox, you need to be put in a mental institution because you're crazy and have OCD uh, for doing, doing too many movies. Or because you did too many movies, people might read into them. Okay, so why am I using that analogy? Kevin, you got... Back into photography after college, you got into studio photography, you signed up to One Model Place, Aubrey Fisher said, Kevin, you should sign up to Model Mayhem, where Model Mayhem, a database of 500,000 was told to hunt me and kill me for getting back into studio photography, getting into studio photography, I'm kind of going through a learning phase, Kevin's crazy, Kevin won't leave me alone, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 yeah, Kevin, I'll do the photo shoot with you. That's a cool idea. Kevin's crazy. Won't leave me alone. Next. Hey, I'll do a photo show with you. Kevin crazy. Kevin won't leave me, leave me alone. Kevin's a stalker. Next. Kevin's crazy. Kevin won't leave me alone. Next. Kevin's not here to do photography. Kevin's here to meet women. I haven't asked any of you out. As a matter of fact, hey, here's a good tangent. All these women that I'm soliciting myself on. In coffee shops, college, pool halls, strip clubs, 
I think I've only told one they liked him. That was Mila. One. Okay, I didn't ask out 100,000 women and get rejected. One. So all these women that I've asked out without asking them out, that's kind of interesting, right? I won't leave women alone. I'm into studio photography for all the wrong reasons. And yet I'm using cutting edge techniques that nobody else is doing too. Well, Sorry, a sarcastic pause there. I'm doing cutting edge techniques that nobody else is doing. Well, if we're going to use Occam's razor from the movie Contact or whatever, Occam's razor, what's more realistic? That by not asking out any women and doing about 30 or 40 photo shoots, tops, I have OCD, I've done too many photo shoots, and... And um, I'm not allowed in the studio photography industry, coffee shops, pools, gas stations, restaurants, take walks, or breathe. With groupings, like Asian groups hunting me at the same time, black groupings hunting me at the same time, Armenians, and all linking to previous events from childhood. What's more realistic that I'm at Model Mayhem where Aubrey Fisher wanted to curve me to to mob me to death by an entire industry paid off to do so. Tim Thompson, quote unquote, well, you built adult websites, didn't you? Okay. Think about that. That statement, that angry statement. Kevin, let's build a well, Kevin, let's build adult websites. Well, you built adult websites. Didn't you? Boom. Punished. Okay. Right? I'm going to punish you. Okay. Um, that's an interesting statement from my pool playing friend who links to Steve McPike from Colorado. Okay. So as we're linking from link to link down the rabbit hole here, they're going all the way to five years old. Okay. And I can assure you they're not fucking about mental illness. Okay. Um... They're about hate. And, um... So, boom. Because you did, let's say, 30 or 40 photo shoots. I probably, actually, you know what? Technically, I probably did about 20. You did 20 photo shoots. You have OCD. You're trying to pick up on women. Wait, but all the other guys on Model Mayhem have, like, 500 to 1,000 photo shoots. That's interesting. Now, I don't think it has to do with the green screen and CG and fantasy scenes that nobody else is doing or weren't. They're probably doing, doing, they're doing it a million times over now, but back then it was a little more newer. That's not part of it. That can't be part of it. Someone's hate and rage and jealousy, Anna Fox, like yours. That can't be part of it. I've just harassed all your friends by doing... I've harassed all your black friends, and no, they weren't all black. Uh, I've harassed all your black friends by doing photo shoots with them and being as nice as can be and not asking them out and being as professional as motherfucking possible. So it ruins your life. Oh, but but we're competing, right? Like I was competing with Damon Reagans, right? All those mean, horrible things I did to Damon Reagans. There's nothing I did to Damon Reagans. Nothing at all. I had a modified Trans Am. He had his Iroxy or Camaro or whatever, and we kind of... Joked around with each other a couple times. That's it. It's equivalent to me walking into a coffee shop in 2001 and buying a fucking co cup of coffee and saying I hate black people. It's equivalent to me doing a... Out of my hundreds of thousands... Well, let's say thousands of artworks. Doing a art scene with Mike Tyson and game character Katana as a composite for a simple computer imaging class in the Sleeping Dog Contest. Linking to Rhoda and my sicko father and all that. Okay? There's nothing there. On any level. Everything that's coming out of your fucking mouth and all your little sicko friends is complete fiction. You're pulling shit out of the deepest orifices of your fucking ass out of hate and rage for us Jews. Okay? Fucking period. And it comes down to eight years old, I kissed the black girl, and you're mad about that. And that's pretty fucking strange. Because that was like 40 years ago. I can't even fucking remember who she is. 
And the only thing I can really fucking remember is the fucking teacher cracking an egg and a fucking little bloody chicken embryo falling in the fucking food they were trying to cook. Whatever. And that and weird things that were happening, like the kid's father's band was Devo, and somehow that's being used against me, okay? But either way, we're going to take out all the fucking bullshit, and I kissed a black girl, and that upsets you that this Jew kissed a black girl 40 fucking years ago, and I need to fucking die. Okay, so let's get back to what this fucking really is with your little black friends following me from Starbucks, egg mobbing me to death on my bicycle and all that other shit. Okay, now I'm ruining your life because your friends are following me from place to place, egg mobbing me with Tom Farley and what was his name, Eric Johnson and their little fucking scams to hunt me and kill me, whatever. Okay, now don't try to attack my credibility, my mentality or any fucking thing else. Like I said, You've already shown that you're a fucking coward and pathetic. You've shown that you're a little dog and don't try to play your, your can't, you can't see yourself schizo bullshit on me. And I'm going to continue. You're not going to fucking silence me with your little sicko friends. And you will not shut me up now then ever. So if you want to shut me up, you're going to have to put a fucking bullet in my head before you fucking shut me up. Aside from that, you better choose sides because I'm not going to fucking shut up. And that's not a threat to you or anyone else. I have the First Amendment freedom of speech. You will never shut me up. And if you need to shut me up that much with your worldwide sicko, child molesting, pedophile groups or whatever they are, uh, Nazi, trash, gang stalking, Black Panther fucking groups or whatever, then you seriously have something to hide, okay? Period. Because I'm not the one doing anything wrong. And don't say by putting up a website exposing worldwide murder operations to kill me is doing anything wrong because that says all I or anyone else needs to know. Okay. So. That's in rebuttal to your little fucking manipulations and hey, with your friends following me from place to place and coffee shops which has really been going on for 45 years and extremely aggressive at 29 when I found out what was going on sitting in an office with Mike Huntley watching a worldwide campaign to kill me and Mike Huntley stating that I'm a fucking dead man. He's given me enough rope to hang myself with. Have a good life now. Dropping papers on my desk how to kill people with mental illness tactics. Well, I'm completely in shock going, why does this guy I've known for 14 years just switch from I'm your friend to I've been hunting you to kill you for fucking 14 years finding out that it links back to every motherfucker I've ever known so yes you're a pathetic fucking weasel and a, and a fucking coward and have no fucking concept with your little hoodlum friends about anything on any level whether it be fear, bravery, courage or any fucking thing else I give you one hour of my life you'll be fucking crying in the corner fucking saying Kevin I'm sorry please fucking forgive me and I'll fucking think about it okay I will possibly fucking think about it when I know that it's fucking hammered in your motherfucking head the reality of the fucking situation okay so that being said uh, before I stop this I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to add because remember that if I uh, search the deep recesses of my brain about minute by minute events for 45 years I can come up with about a hundred thousand disturbing events example I'm talking about 14 years old my brother told to take me on a Caribbean cruise and try to make it look like I conform to Pearl Harbor worldwide too and my last name is Pearlman or whatever their Truman show tactics whatever you know it just goes from thing to thing uh, movie after movie media after media uh, the verbal harassments or example things like maybe I go to a coffee shop and they tap on the counter and then I test the waters and I drive to a coffee shop down in like Laguna Beach or even fucking New York City the next guy will see me he'll start tapping on the counter it'll go from place to place those are some of the earlier 29 year old tactics before the cars backwards and sequences and things like that um, the things done is with high school teachers like uh, Mr. Quigley in my 11th grade class telling me to Paul Schaefer, telling me to punch Paul Schaefer, who was kind of sort of bullying me a little, but that's not why my teacher obviously wanted me to punch Paul Schaefer to make me look like a violent paranoid schizo, and when it didn't work, 
You don't talk or we kill you. Uh, Miss Tunic and Mike Cho and... Wait, what were there? were two mics. There was Mike, Mike Cho. Stefano Cho and Mike Cho. Hey, Kevin's friends with Stefano Cho and there's a kid in your English class. Uh, Mike Cho and he's doing these weird outbursts. So Kevin must have did it to Mike Cho because he's friends with Mike Cho. Well, Kevin's friends... Not friends with Mike Cho. Kevin's friends with Stefano Cho. And halfway through that, they took Stefano Cho out of the class, I think, saying he cheated on a vocabulary test. I think saying, see Kevin's friends with Mike Cho, and look what Kevin did to Mike Cho, and all these weird, freaky things. I can even talk about the hypnotist tactic and back in when I was mid-20s, I think, or 30s. Okay, so that note, I'm just making a fucking point that these people... Especially like Anna Vox, Jada Fire. Now remember that Jay, yeah, you Jada Fire, follow me from fucking coffee, cough, to coffee shop to coffee shop, like everyone else, trying to get me to react and this and that, or even talk to you so you can say I'm stalking you. Correct? Am I correct, Jada Fire? If I would have even walked up to you and said, "Oh my God, you're Jada Fire," and blah blah blah, you would have said that Kevin's an angry, bitter, stalking puppy dog who hates black people and he needs to die. Correct? How do I know that? I know it because I sat there fucking 20 years before you fucking were following me from place to place with your fucking friends doing the same thing. That's how I fucking know it. Okay, so while you sit there on your little fucking accounts, throwing out your little fucking rocks at me like everyone else in the world, I think you have some fucking answers, at least for the rest of the world, because I know you're not going to fucking look me straight in the eye and be a fucking real woman. And fucking throw down. But I think you have some fucking answers for the rest of the world about your fucking behavior with Mike Huntley and his fucking behavior. While Mike Huntley's telling me, it's Kevin, it's your behavior. That's why I'm hunting you to kill you. Okay. So, I'm sort of sticking on Black People Day, but remember, because they've recently ramped up, things ramped down. They are the first ones at the forefront of the Jew hate or the Kevin hate in line that we need to kill Kevin with every resource on the planet since 8 years old since kissing a black girl I think people need to start answering questions instead of following me around saying I need to tell them why they're hunting me to kill me since 5 years old correct? Okay. so those questions I know you're not going to answer a question I know that you don't have the fucking balls or morals or integrity to answer these questions. You're just pathetic cowards. Spoiled brats. Pathetic cowards. Um, who have no concept of fucking anything. Now, then, or ever. And you're just little fucking children. And you think you know something. And, ooh, you got a little fame. And you think you know something. And you think you're special. Trust me, you're not. You're not. You're not anything. And I'm not trying to be that. say that in a mean way. But when you're trying to fucking pull out your fucking dicks and wave them in front of my fucking face. I couldn't give a flying fuck. I couldn't give a flying fuck the size of your fucking chick dicks or whatever while you try to wave it in my face and show me how big it is. It does not phase me. You could have a hundred fucking foot dick. I could not give a shit about you, your dick, your cock shade, or anything else. I could not give a fuck. Okay, so what you people are running around lying that I'm obsessed with you because you're angry about whatever you're fucking angry about when I was five years old. I couldn't give a fuck, okay? Period. Okay? Jada Fire, I couldn't give a shit if you make $100 billion or make $1. Anna Vox, I couldn't give a shit if you're in fucking Playboy or you're friends with a photographer and Kevin, we stopped you from being getting into studio photography and every other photography... I couldn't fucking care, okay? You do not, you do not phase me. You do not impress me. You do not woe me. You do not put me in a phase of puppy dog. Oh my God, she's amazing. You don't. You never have, okay? And that's the secret here. That you never have. You, your friends, they never have, okay? Now, then, or ever. Okay? So if you're going to try to use that cover-up, I won't leave you alone. I'm a stalking puppy. 
you're going to say whatever you need to say. You people are going to say whatever you need to say to try to put me in the ground and steal my money and all that. Not that I really have much of anything. But that's that's your that's your motive and that's your drive and that's your integrity and that's your morals and that's what you stand for. So when you're throwing your shit in front of my fucking face about right, wrong, integrity, who's a tough guy? I, I don't I don't run off that mobster tough guy shit. I couldn't give a flying fuck. Okay. You could put a fucking bullet in my head right now. That I will never stop talking about what my life is. It's not about being tough. It's not about being a man. It's about what's right. Okay? So I don't want to hear the reverse psychology and the brainwashing from stupid, moronic, pathetic, spoiled brats that have everything in life and have no clue of what can happen, what does happen in third world countries, and and the fact that you should be ashamed of yourselves. You shouldn't be running around with Brian Weaver saying, Kevin, it's a public shaming for all the things I did to you and everyone else, okay? Uh, the fact, the fact that at 29, Brian Weaver, who is stalking me since a young child, since eighth grade, is running around saying, Kevin, it's a public shaming. Wait, I'm being publicly shamed for all the shit Brian Weaver did? Does that even make any fucking sense? And then the, the cover-up, I'm a schizo. So let's see, Brian Weaver supposedly, according to him, bullies Mike Block. I did it. Brian Weaver, kind of, sort of, because, uh, kind of, sort of bullies Ryan Hirsch. Not real bullying, but kind of, sort of, for, for 10 minutes. I did it. Uh, Brian Weaver comes over to my house at maybe 12 year old, smashes all my Revel glued together car models. I'm a violent, I'm a violent paranoid schizo and bipolar. Brian Weaver reloaded the paint gun when he saw me pointing it at Shane Wakes and I accidentally shot Shane with a paint gun. Brian Weaver. Um, I come back from college, 29 years old. It's a whole new level of hate with Brian Weaver. They come back in my life. Damon Riggins with Mike Huntley. Real Kevin back in. They really fucking go ballistic. You went to strip clubs. You need to die. It's a public shaming what the fuck is going on, right? Like, these were my friends from high school. Okay. Were they my friends from high school? Now, let's think back, because I didn't really understand what was going on. When my brother told me that I had to go ballistic on Gregoire for him and spy on Gregoire after me stopping my brother from trying to bash Gregoire's head in with a crowbar by jumping in the way of the crowbar. Why is Gregoire mad at me now for stopping from my brother from hurting him. Why was my brother telling me to go after Gregoire? Me saying, fuck you, I'm not going to help you in your fucked up shit. Because he's mad that Jennifer Yang started dating Gregoire while he went off in the college. After saying, after saying, Greg, sh Jen, Jen Yang should hang, Jen Yang, Jen Hess, Jen Pilchik. Okay, after saying, Greg should hang out with, with, Jen should hang out with your friend Greg. Well, wait a minute. How would you know? What do you say? Greg's a good guy. Greg's a good guy. Okay, Greg's a good guy. This is words. Greg's a good guy. Jen, Jen's going to hang out with Greg while I'm at college. My brother wasn't friends with Gregoire. How would my brother know if Gregoire was a good or bad guy? And even if Greg was a good guy, you think you'd be telling your girlfriend to hang out with Greg? Now, in between that, something I totally forgot, I believe Jen Yang broke up with my brother. Well, no, that could be an after the fact. She broke up with my brother at Nassau, the island in the Caribbean, Nassau. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure the exact time frame. But either way, you're not going to say that. So that that's sort of out of, like, why would you say that? Okay. And then Jen Yang cheats on my brother. And then my brother goes after Greg. And I stop my brother. Not in a violent way. I just jump in front of a crowbar. But hey, we're going to use that against you, right? Um, because we, we're going to use whatever we can against you. Now, so I must hit Asians because I'm protecting Greg. Okay. Yeah, I know. That doesn't make sense either, right? Okay. So, now... And I'm just jumping back to a few of these 
millions, fucking thousands of situations. So then my brother gives me the blood is thicker than water. I need to hurt, harm, maim, kill for him. I basically say, fuck you. Well, fuck you is a crime. You're not allowed to say, fuck you. You're allowed to hunt down and kill your younger brother, but you're not allowed to say the fuck you crime, right? It's a little fucking backwards. Okay. So I'm backwards. Okay. And, um... Then it's the blood is thicker than water, and me and my friends are going to put me in a mental institution for defying my brothers you better hurt people for me okay in a very stealthy method a very you know a very very well packaged indirect way of saying it which was me and my friends put a teacher in a mental institution now we have a bug in your room and we're listening to everything you do on the radio like some crazy talk now, if I walk around to that point going, there's a bug in my room, what do you think my mommy and daddy are going to say? But, ironically, they're the one telling Jason to tell me to say it. Okay, so that's where it gets freakier. Just like Greg Waugh was working with my brother to get me to go after Greg Waugh in the setup to say Kevin's crazy. Okay, gang stalking. We're trying to make this person look crazy. But wait, Kevin keeps passing the tests. Right, Anna? Kevin P- keeps passing the tests. Why do you keep coming after me? Well, I think you're a bad person. I want to prove it. I know that that's not a normal sane thought or behavior, but I think you're a bad person. I want to prove it. But Kevin keeps passing a hundred thousand fucking times. Whoop! There's kind of iffy on this one. I think we got to put him in a jail cell or mental institution. Okay, that doesn't make sense. That's hate. Okay. Um... So yeah, so that was the cryptic... So if you say anything in your self-defense, Jason said this, you're crazy, Kevin. There's no bug in your room. Now, isn't that interesting that court reporter, as I mentioned earlier, Debbie Woolman, nobody's ever lived in my... For 24 years, nobody's lived in this court reporter in Van Nuys Room 101, Debbie Woolman's place adjoining my wall, and she's linked to Jay Pilchick from, from court reporter Jay Pilchick, Jennifer Pilchick Perlman, who just lost against Debbie Wasserman Schultz, with screen screenshots, we need to deem Kevin as crazy to her little political lawyer friends. We need to deem Kevin as crazy. He knows too much. We need to deem Kevin as crazy. But before I knew anything, they were trying to deem me as crazy. Well, if you want to really do the math on why my brother would want to deem me as crazy... The normal answer would be because he wants the family inheritance and he wants to off his younger brother, kind of like the Menendez, how to kill someone and get away with it. But being that my father's involved and my mother's involved and all my friends are involved, it gets a little more complex. And the government of the United States is involved, it gets a little more complex. The methods of me being hunted to kill, being hunted and killed by a worldwide group, exponentially growing since five years old, is out of the scale of anything in humanity ever done to a person it's on a if you try to compare even though it's different it's it's reversed if you try to compare it to slavery or adolf hitler it makes it look like a fucking cartoon okay i have now for 20 slash 40 wait yeah 20 slash 45 years been fighting off an entire or exponentially growing an entire fucking planet, one man against an entire planet, and it really gets bad in 1994 when Jason Perlman wants me to see the internet so bad. Now, just remember this. If the internet was originally a government military invention, okay? The internet started by government, and it slowly after colleges became a private entity. Originally, it was a government entity. It trickled down to colleges. Government. Colleges. You could do basic telnet things like surf libraries through text-based terminals and email. That was the foundation of the internet, which I recall learning and experimenting with. It has nothing to do with hacking. As I exposed Coffee Bean by telling someone I hacked someone to see how they would react. Um, oh, well, Kevin, you confessed to some, No, no. I simply shared some information that wasn't necessarily true to see how far it would go. Whether it's true or not, it shouldn't matter. If you understand that point. 
If I say I hack someone and there's a plan of people trying to kill you, it's not because you confessed to hacking someone, it's because there's a plan of people trying to kill you, trying to collect whatever they can. Okay, Telnet is slowly on a simple level before AOL and Prodigy was very basic web browser -y. And then it hit AOL and it expanded. Okay, I can... Listen, I grew up programming on Commodore 64s and Atari 800s, and I can remember IBM real-to-real -real mainframes. You're not talking to a fucking stupid fucking moron here who's a puppy dog who could give a shit about some black girl without implants. Sorry, that was a little mean, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Oh, hey, you're, you're, you're 25 years old and you got some tight tight little wombat body or whatever and I couldn't give a fly I mean yeah sure okay so someone's good looking you think you think you're gonna make me up my slave you're not and the bottom line is that I hate to break it to all these beautiful women out there but they can't fight the fucking clock anyways so if you're in your prime now you're gonna get fucking old and ugly no matter what where am I going with that well I don't know where I'm going with it but I'm just saying that you think you're the shit it all ends okay you don't, you don't phase me. You just kind of, with your fucking rhetoric and fear mongering, you guys, no offense to the non douchebag provokers. That, that kind of attitude reminds me of a bunch of Ant Man wombats. Okay, so, um, okay, so, um, yeah. So, anyways, I think I, I think I remember that. I think that's what it was. Okay, so, yeah, so that's cover-up. That's cover-up fear-mongering and rhetoric. Okay, like I said before, as I'm sort of explaining, and I'm really getting on a tangent here, explaining that the Internet was a government entity. It veered out to the private sector. What is my point? My point is that there's shit that you don't understand is going on on the Internet that you're too stupid to fucking understand. And when my brother comes flying in with, like, NSA and Department of Defense to kill his younger fucking brother saying, Kevin, I want you to see the fucking internet. It's about something much bigger, okay? Kevin, I want you to see this iFriends website. You're stalking iFriends people, whatever. Just making up shit. We got the dirt on you. We're NSA. We're shifting and putting things out of context and making up lies on top of it to sugarcoat it with Tom Farley and everyone else. Kevin's harassing women, Kevin's trying to control women, Kevin's... What are you fucking talking about? Like, you're, you're like deer in headlights, right? Like, are you going to explain to me what's going on? No, you're a fucking dead man with a planet. Okay. So, once again, when you people are sitting there trying to cover up your mess, and you want to talk about fear, courage, bravery right wrong the way to deal with situations i don't give a shit about any of your little fantasies and you telling me how you would stop a fucking bank robber from robbing a bank and how you would jump over the counter and do five somersaults and i don't care you're just fucking a bunch of fucking windbags that talk shit that are spoiled brats and know nothing and that even applies to the fucking people down in L.A. with no house or whatever, okay? And I'm not trying to fucking say I'm better than anyone. What I am saying, though, is if you're going to try to compare your life to my life and you don't want a fucking counter-argument, that you know fucking absolutely nothing, that what you think is bad, you can't even possibly fathom in your little fucking brain what can be done to you by the United States government of America and what bad really could be you know nothing and that says to me while trying to say I'm a pathetic puppy dog or anything else I'm following you to coffee shops because my kind can't go to coffee shops or anything else you know fucking nothing so try becoming a fucking man or a woman or I'm not even going to say that you know what you, you choose your own choice but if you want to come and step on my level and you want to talk about being a man, being a woman, morals, integrity, ethics, doing something for your fucking country, doing something for yourself, doing what's right no matter what the fucking consequences are, no matter, let me rephrase that, no matter what the fucking consequences are, okay? 
Then you fucking come to me. Then you come to me with a fucking direct motherfucking argument. Not your little schizo arguments, your little schizo Jason Perlman, uh, Transformer, what was the, what's the yellow card and Transformer that they're using their cover-up tactics with music for? Um, Bumblebee. Not your little fucking Bumblebee Jason Perlman tactics. You come to me and you step up fucking direct and have a fucking man, woman, fucking conversation with morals, integrity, ethics that show that you have some kind of fucking courage and some kind of fucking spine other than punching people in the back of the fucking head. Then we'll talk. Okay? Then we will fucking talk. Other than that, you can go on the motherfucking internet and give me motherfucking public apologies and tell the world who approached you, and what you they told you to do, and why, and where it came from, and yada, 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 fucking yada. Okay, so I'm going to end this really long, extremely important rant here, and the spoiled brat, spineless, Jew haters are going to laugh at it, and all I can say is, fuck you, you're, you're a pathetic weasel, you have no concept of anything, and you're a little spoon-fed fucking weasel who has never seen anything in life, but gimme. Gimme, gimme. Okay, so that's it. And I'm sure after this video uploads, the mass child molesting, uh, Uncle Tom, pedophile shit that supports torturing and killing children will, in fact, uprise to try to silence me. Correct? Because I'm a horrible guy for saying what's on my mind and speaking out about the horrific truth about what's really going on with a worldwide murder operation to kill one man since five year old now going on for 45 years okay so the end okay and I won't even give you a little jokey sarcastic piece or whatever because I know that the maturity level of these people don't understand what humor and personality and emotion is okay so that's it until the next one